we've compiled the top pieces of advice from recent PhD graduates and PhD defense chairs to help ensure you're prepared to defend successfully. This video shares some of their top tips for success. The video will cover tips for preparing for your defense, tips for day of logistics, and finally, tips for defending successfully. First, we'll start with tips on preparing for your defense. Number one, start learning about your defense timelines early on. Many students want or need to complete their degree by a certain term or in time for a specific convocation ceremony. Learning about timelines can help make things go more smoothly before and after your defense. In particular, Make sure you're aware of timelines around the approval of your thesis for defense, submission of your thesis for defense, applying to graduate, revisions after your defense, and your final thesis submission to UW space. Number two, go to other defenses. Most defenses at Waterloo are open to the public and you can find a list of upcoming defenses in Waterloo's online daily bulletin. Going to another PhD defense is a great opportunity to see how the defense works and what types of questions are typically asked. If you're attending a defense in a field that is similar to yours, make note of the kinds of questions that are asked about method, theory, application, and significance. Try to rephrase those questions so that they are about your thesis topic instead, so you can practice answering them in preparation for your own defense. Number three, schedule a mock defense. Consider doing this with your lab mates and colleagues, but also with people outside your discipline. You might be asked interesting and relevant questions you get from those outside your discipline. People outside your field are likely to ask unexpected questions that help you think of the bigger picture. Number four, look at your thesis with a critical eye. What are the issues you would critique if you were an examiner? For example, think about the limitations of your study, what you did and what you consciously did not do. Think about each chapter. What contribution does each chapter make to the whole? Are there weaknesses in the data in some chapters? Can some of your conclusions be challenged? It's easier than you think to predict the questions your committee members might ask you. Reading their work will also give you some insight into their perspective. Number five, think about the bigger picture. Where does your work fit in with the literature in your field? What is your contribution to the field? The very purpose of the defense is to assess your scholarly contribution and to evaluate your ability to engage in scholarly discourse in your discipline. So, always keep the bigger picture in mind. Planning your day of logistics. As your defense day approaches, you may have a lot on your mind from preparing for your defense to managing the administrative considerations and thinking about what comes next. With all of this excitement, it can be easy to forget about some of the fundamental logistics of planning for your defense day. So now, we'll cover the key tips we gathered for the day of your defense. Number one, don't forget your thesis. Bring a printed copy of your thesis to the defense and mark main sections or chapters with post-it notes or flags. You don't want to be flipping through pages of your thesis when you're supposed to be conversing with others. You should also bring a notebook because you will receive some great advice at the defense about how to improve the thesis for final submission or for a future publication. You can also use your notebook to help you map out your answers to multi-part or complex questions. Don't hesitate to take a few moments during your defense to jot some notes down. You want to be sure you remember what the examiners tell you. Number two, plan your transportation. Plan in advance of the day how you will get to the defense, including thinking about how much time you might need to get there. Make sure you plan to arrive early to ensure that all of the technology is functioning as expected. Number three, plan what you want to wear. 
plan to wear something that will feel comfortable, but that will also make you feel confident and professional. Number four, familiarize yourself with the technology you'll be using at your defense. If possible, get access to the virtual or physical location of your defense to make sure figures, videos, and text show up well on the projector or screen. Also, get comfortable with the controls of any projecting systems. If you're showing a presentation, it's also a good idea to have backup copies of your file. For example, have one on a jump drive and have another copy in email. Number five, spend some time relaxing the week of your defense. You need that time to get perspective. And the night before your defense, be sure to get a good night's sleep. Defending successfully. Once you have a plan to practice and prepare, and you've got your defense logistics figured out, what should you do during the examination? We'll focus now on tips for succeeding at the defense. Number one, keep the presentation simple. The presentation should be concise and high level. If your committee wants to know about the small details, they will ask those questions in the questioning period. Number two, show you can think critically about your own work when you answer questions. The best kind of answer is, here's what I did and here's why I did it, and then acknowledge how you could have done it differently. Number three, not everything needs to be defended. The defense is not designed to prove you can stand your ground. Sometimes the best answer is, that's a very good point. I'll change that, or I'll consider that. Number four, ask for clarification. Asking for clarification doesn't make you look less smart. Consider pausing and asking for clarification or ask your examiner to rephrase the question. Number five, don't treat the question period like a speech. Keep your answers short. The question period is meant to be an informed conversation between colleagues. So the best defenses are conversations in which there's an exchange of information in both directions. Number six, remember what you've accomplished. As you prepare for your defense day, take advice from a recent PhD graduate who said, be prepared for tough questions, but be confident in your research and work. Take comfort in knowing you are the expert on your own project. Finally, our last tip is celebrate. You've dedicated so much hard work and so many years to completing your thesis. Be sure you take the time to celebrate your accomplishment. You earned it.